I want to make one more video about landscape design in the thread. And of course, I have to mention cross stitch fabric. Now, it doesn't come in the size of pillowcases. This is um, a typical size, which I think is 15 by 18 or 15 by 24. But you could stitch, um, seam two of these together to get a pillowcase size if you wanted to work that large. This is one way of doing a design. This is a block print of a right whale, but um, you could, you don't have to go to all the block printing trouble and things like that, but you could either use a handheld stitcher or pencil, crayon, uh, if you wanted to add color, and you could draw right on your fabric and then go back in and cross stitch the whole thing and you would end up having a permanent thread drawing. And um, this is kind of where I'm heading, is with cross-stitch. And uh, I started this mainly because I wanted to get away from um, toxic chemicals and things like that. Now, these are in, a, in some way fragile because thread is somewhat fragile. It may not be as permanent as, say, India ink, um, but it's a wonderful way to add depth and color. It's a very good way to do text and keys and color keys and things like that. I think it's the ultimate alternative to pen and ink. Um, this is an example. This is Martha's Vineyard. Now, this is nautical, but you can see how that could any um, any of the land areas you can add shading to show the different grades of the soil you can uh, expand past six colors you can keep it to six colors um, it's a wonderful it is basically the best way probably to do landscape design in thread um, as I said the pieces of fabric are most economical when they're dishcloth size, which is this one. Sometimes you're able to find large lots of fabric, which you can then cut into whatever size you want. The other main advantage is that it comes um, all cross stitch fabric, fiddler's cloth, eight of cloth, is all made a certain amount of stitches per inch. So there's your scale. Um, I think this is 18 count linen, and this is probably 14 count 8 o'clock cotton. And there is your scale for any kind of landscape design, um, which it solves all of the adjustment of, okay, I have to cut everything to a 4 inch square to equal 20 feet. By using different um, counts of cross stitch fabric, you can very easily change the scale of your drawing. You could do one major drawing in thread and then blow up one certain point with a um, larger count drawing. So if people really want to focus on their deck, you could do their deck drawing in a larger thread count and show more detail. This is, this is the ultimate way to do it. I just looked at a pillowcase size piece of fabric is 1825. So that's about equal to um, the best artist paper or the best vellum. Only you'd be putting, instead of drawing with ink, you'd be drawing with thread. Um, you could also do this, if you pretend this is a landscape drawing, um, you would really only need a handheld stitcher. All the cross stitch would be done by hand. Um, to a uh, handheld stitcher, either the battery operated or the manual, because you want to go around the edges to keep it from fraying. You might want to turn it under and then stitch it. Um, you could then frame them or mount them. Um, you could use a Model 20 for the same things. You wouldn't need a full-size sewing machine because you'd be working um, by hand. And floss uh, all different colors of um, embroidery floss, you can get an inexpensive brand like Designs for the Needle. You can get 36 colors for about $13. Or you can get very nice DMC 
linen floss, um, which they don't make anymore and you kind of have to um, search around for it. Their cotton floss is very good. That's about a dollar a skein. So cross stitch is probably where you'll end up going if you take landscape design and textiles um, to the professional level.